So here is a picture of Miss Nancy. I took this picture two years ago, a year ago, was it last year? I think it might have been just before lockdown, last February maybe. And uh, it's at Sanctum Studio in uh, Southampton. I'm going to do a really quick five minute edit of this just in Lightroom and show you what you can do. Uh, even to remove a couple of distracting bits. I don't think I've removed all of them, but uh, certainly to get a really good colour grade using Lightroom only. And skin retouch, not really too, too worried about that, but using the texture feature to maybe down the texture or you know, lower the texture of the of the skin and the face and maybe the neck. But apart from that, not a lot more. It's only going to take five minutes and we're going to run through it now. So all we're going to do is uh, we're going to come across and just go with an auto setting for the exposure because Lightman does a really good job of, of certainly in the indoors location where there's not too many highlights, not too many shadows, all kind of one look, uh, get a really good balance for the exposure. Work the texture and the clarity on the entire image. I'm going to work on the body itself later anyway, so I'm not too worried about that now. Just looking at the whole image and my usual edit with uh, the tonal curve. Uh, just yeah, just bring up the blacks and even out the uh, shadows and the the whites there. It's going to bring the overall tone of the sorry the temperature overall temperature down slightly. I think it's just a bit too yellow. There are loads, and I was although I was using a little bit of flash in this image. There's a lot of yellow in that room, way too much yellow. So I'm going to bring bring the uh, the temperature down a little bit. Come down to the uh, the color grading. Slight bit of blues in the shadows and in the highlights, a bit of orange, yellowy orange. Loads of sharpening, that sharpness image up a little bit. Uh, down a little bit further, remove chromatic aberration, the normal, normal stuff, enable profile correction, that kind of stuff. That takes away the vignette. We'll add a bit of vignette back in a second, but before I mess around with that too much, uh, let's come up to our spot removal tool. There's a couple of bits and pieces on the side of the bed here that I don't like. I just get rid of that one. Move the bit where it's going to replace it with something like that. Yeah, it's not too bad. And on the other side, there's another one. And boom, that's going to take it from the side, let's say. Potentially go back to the other one in a minute and make this one look the same as this. Yeah, I prefer that. Let's take that down to the side. And have that through there. Not worry too much about it. You don't really notice it. I'm going to add quite a heavy vignette in a minute, so it won't matter too much. And let's come back down to the post crop vignette, although I haven't cropped it, don't need to crop this image. And I'm going to give it a lot. I'm going to feather it slightly and bring it down some more midpoint in. We want to darken the sides down, really bring the focus into, into the image because the background is, is, isn't as out of focus as, as I would like, uh, but certainly bringing a heavy vignette in there can add something. So we're going to add a radial gradient to the body, get all the effects, so bring the highlights up, ever so, so the exposure up ever so slightly, a little bit of tint, and clarity I'm going to bring down ever so slightly. And uh, texture I'm going to leave to bring the clarity down. I added quite a bit of clarity to the overall image, so I want to kind of get rid of that here. And uh, uh, let's just have it there. Now let's, have, let's, let's add a normal gradient into the sides. I'm going, to, I'm going to move the temperature right down. See if we can get a little bit of contrast in the in the yellows and the oranges with a little bit of blue. This adds a little bit of a kind of film look. I like to do this to a lot of my images, uh, landscapes as well as portraits. And here I'm going to add a couple of radial filters around the lights, just bring up the temperature and tint to make them very orange, not too much. I want it more orange than magenta, there we go, very orange. Copy that to that one, might be a bit too much, I might have to bring the exposure down on these. Let's have a look. Yeah, I think it's a bit too much, let's bring the exposure down on all four of these. But I like the fact there's a lot of yellow in the background. Uh, that kind of yellowy orange adds quite a bit of an effect, a kind of film effect. Uh, so let's go back to the gradient. 
and add a gradient at the bottom. Now we're going to make this very blue. You'll notice it's going to go very, very blue. Yeah, I actually like that. Like that. It's adding that kind of, again, the sort of uh, orange and blues, orange, teal and orange kind of effect. It's not really teal, but gives it that kind of effect. Adding some more blues in the shadows of the other gradient filters that I had. Yeah. Doesn't seem to be doing as much on that side. And you can see it as I do it, you know, if you look at the image at the end, you won't really notice it, but it's kind of uh, obviously very noticeable as you, as you watch me do it. And we're already into, come up to the five minute mark. Not too much to do now. Where do you feel over the face, I think? Let's bring down the texture just in the face itself. Let's get rid of, double click on effect. That gets, get, gets rid of all the effects. Just bring the, bring the texture down if it's slightly, not too much, but enough just to take a little bit of the edge off the, the face texture. I had a lot of texture early on to the global image, so I want to get rid of that here. I'm going to copy that to the neck, make it a bit smaller just so it's on the neck. And I think I'm going to have to, yeah, the feathering is too much on this particular one. Bring the texture down a little bit more, just to get rid of, rid of the, the, those neck lines that you sometimes see. Uh, no one's fault, it's just that using flash, you pick up everything. And that's pretty much it really. There's not really anything else I'll do to that image. I like that as it is, and I hope you do too. What's that, just, just over five minutes, and we've got an image from this to this, and really quickly just adds so much dimension and, and tonality to, to what, was, what was, I mean it was a good image. Uh, straight out of camera but using Lightroom really quickly and really effectively gives this image something a little bit special I think and uh, I love it I hope you do too and if you got any comments please leave them down below if you like this image please whack a thumbs up if you're new to my channel and would like to subscribe I do a lot of these kind of editing videos I'm going to be doing a few more uh, certainly on portraits uh, a lot of my new follow ship are from uh, a portraiture video so i'm going to start doing a lot of that stuff if you guys like that kind of stuff let me know in the comments and yeah please subscribe hit the notification bell so you get updates every time i upload a new video that would be awesome and until the next one i'll see you boys and girls soon take it easy bye